like to see myself as a visual artist. And so before I, I, I came here, I was very much into the more traditional mediums, such as like colored pencils, painting, more classic art. Coming into this major and this this program, um, I've kind of been able to develop those art skills into a more design-oriented side. And now I do a lot of digital painting, a lot of um, digital art that kind of takes the technical skills that you develop as like you're just normally drawing and pulls it into that. And I think is really cool because now I have, there's so much more you can do with that. Here and in this like work environment, um, everything is connected and everything, there's bits and pieces of everything that kind of match up. I first started off doing more graphic design and then I took a video editing class um, with Professor Andy Bonjour. And that was really cool because um, it kind of showed me that even though I hadn't really edited videos before, it's a similar like art process, like the development, the creation, the editing, like it's connected to what I do as an artist. I had a professor here, Dr. Schaefer. He said, your goal is to become really good at one thing, but then also good at everything around it. So say you're really good at graphic design and then you then want to know something or know know things about people who take photos or people who you know edit videos or you want to know the whole process behind everything else that you're involved with so then when you work with those people you're not um you're not kind of lost but here you've done like a little bit of, of everything basically and so then you know kind of how to work with these people who have skills that kind of like are close to yours but not quite. The student jobs that I've had have been really helpful in furthering that um, just with projects that I've done and the work environment and interacting with with other people um, who are actually doing this for their actual job um, has been really good because then I see the whole process that, that they have and then I can kind of you know pull bits and pieces of that and put it into mine. You can watch someone do something like 10 times, but if you don't actually do it yourself, you're not really learning it. And if you don't keep doing it, then you don't, you don't know it.